Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk Forty Seven Twelve. And today we are going to talk about something which is important for everyone who is going to learn anything. Because if you learn anything, then you want to retain it for long period of time, long enough for you to properly utilize it. Sometimes you want it to be retained for years. And trust me, it is possible to retain things properly for decades if you do this revision part properly. And if you don't do revision properly, you know better than me how many times you have forgotten something that you have studied within days happens more often than not revision efficiency determines the time that is invested in revision so if you do it properly you can do it quickly if you do it right it will involve only 20% of the time that is invested towards learning if not it can take as much as the entire time that you invested in learning itself how many times you have learned something and couple of months later you almost feel like you did not learn anything and everything feels fresh we don't want that we hate that we want to retain whatever we have studied and for that the simple principle of revision should be understood by everyone who is going to learn anything so let's get into it here in this video we are going to discuss the basic principles of revision like what you remember or what you forget core memory and surface memory spending time on your weaknesses and not wasting time on your strengths the correct place of comprehensive notes and short notes one day revision one week revision one month revision which will be based on how your brain itself works so one by one we are going to discuss everything in simple and logical fashion in a manner which is practically applicable do you know what is the most important part about memorizing something it is forgetting you understand what you're not able to memorize when you forget things so it is important for you to forget things to understand what you're forgetting so that you can put more time over there to memorize it even better few of the things that you really remember right now might just be one of the things that was most difficult for you to memorize and that is why you invested so much time over there to retain it for a longer duration so forgetting is important and that's where most people make mistake the way they see revision as is today i studied and i'm going to revise it tomorrow and then again and then again that is not how you do it because number one you're going to waste too much time and number two it is not as effective to understand what you're forgetting it is very important for you to give yourself time to forget things and that is why there should be solid amount of intervals in between two revisions but it cannot be just intermittent equal distant it has to be increased with the next subsequent revision so that you get more time the next time to forget and understand what you're forgetting to focus more time in that and energy in that so what we are doing is increasing the efficiency of the time that we are investing towards revision or increasing the efficiency of revision itself so that we are in total investing lesser time on the contrary if you increase too much the time in between two intervals you are forgetting almost everything even the things that you understood properly and because of that the opposite happens that now you are requiring more and more time to get back even what you learned and understood properly because given more amount of time you are almost going to forget everything including your name actually if you just stop utilizing it on a regular basis we are going to get into the interval properly matter of fact that is where we are going to end the video but there are some other core simple short principles that i would like to discuss first for example what is core memory and what is surface memory now this part is involved in the learning part so what information is thrown at you immediately or something new that you are studying immediately gets into the surface memory it's not your core memory core memory is what you utilize for a long duration of time or which you are applying on a regular basis so this i've talked in memory palace video also the concept is exactly the same for those who have checked it out not much relation between revision strategy and memory palace but the basic idea remains the same surface memory it is easier to forget core memory it will stay over there no matter what so your job during learning is to connect the surface memory 
to the core memory. So you should understand the new information that you're learning should be connected to core information as much as possible during the learning. If not possible, then during the revision process, more and more getting closer to connecting this new piece of information with something that I know already. Next, we are going to focus on efficiency of revision. Now in these revision cycles, you are supposed to focus on the part that you're finding yourself forgetting. Something that you remember don't spend much time over there just brush through over that because most of the people this is something that actually happens they like to spend time where they are comfortable unlike what you should be doing you have to go against the grain if you want to create new memories in your brain you should be always investing the majority of the time towards what you're forgetting the most even though it is the most boring part that you hate to study that is the thing a lot of things that you do not like are the ones that you forget and unfortunately you will be needing to spend more time over there than what you like now connected to this i'm going to get into comprehensive notes and short notes comprehensive notes is any kind of note that you're creating the first time that you're studying anything it can be you studying yourself self-research or it might be you attending some lecture but this set of notes will be having everything related to whatever you have learned it is important like you understand that right now it might seem simple but a year later which is our objective to retain stuff even years later you might forget something and because of that you require comprehensive notes but more importantly again getting back to the same point of focusing more on your weaknesses there's something that we create short notes which you are going to be putting all the things that you're having a tough time retaining or keeping it in your mind so these short notes should be revised in a more frequent basis so making the notes keeps it structured you at least understand what you're forgetting and over time the short notes also will be eliminated with few of the things that now you remember so the whole process of understanding anything or memorizing anything a lot of people take memorizing in a negative sense but it's really not a lot of things that you do even in your job on the practical basis let us say you're working in a plant you will be retaining and memorizing a lot of things which will be practically applicable on a daily basis let us say that you are producing a set of bolts you should be able to understand various parameters of a bolt to understand which one is this one and which one is that one that is your daily work basis a lot of things can be memory based but still you require it for practical purposes and because of that memorizing is important and because of that we retain a lot of things using these notes now finally coming to the cream of the topic because of this i had to explain the above four points and now finally getting into the cycles of revision that is one day revision one week revision and one month revision see one day revision is the daily whatever you have studied it has to be revised that same day only the topics that you studied that day this is where most people mess up they think that revision starts after a particular subject or topic is over but not really it has to happen on a daily basis as well because that's where it almost vanishes like evaporates all of a sudden whatever you have studied if you do not want to waste more time by revising it later you are going to do it immediately and it happens even in hours so the first thing that you do right after the class is over is revising whatever you have studied that day maybe your lecturer taught you in a very good manner in class you felt like i understood everything say the same thing tomorrow and you won't be able to because there will be at least something that you're forgetting if you gave yourself that much time of delay to revise and thus again coming back to efficiency if you want to improve that then you are supposed to do it as soon as possible that's your one day revision one week revision is a little bit more complicated does not really work just the way one day revision work but at the end of a particular topic let us say for a month you studied a particular topic or a subject and it's now over now again like i said time is supposed to be given for you to understand what you're forgetting so don't start revising the entire subject the next day itself because it might be effective for something that you studied in the initial part but not as much for what you've studied in the final last chapters so give yourself one week 
if you give it too much again let us say you give one month then you will again start forgetting so the day that you complete a particular topic that's the day that you mark seven days later i have to start my revision and that revision can take a couple of hours or a couple of days depending on how big the topic is but it is the minimum amount of time for you to revise a particular subject by forgetting the minimum of what you could have retained thus the most efficient manner of doing it and finally after one month you do exactly the same whatever you did after one week you do the same after one month and that is why after the one week revision now you mark your calendar 30 days later i have to revise this particular subject things becomes quite tricky when two to three subjects are going on and then you'll have to mark properly when this subject a has to be revised when the subject b has to be revised and that is why proper planning is very important. So like this, we understood that forgetting is very important part of memorizing. And we understood how we are supposed to give perfect intervals so that we do not forget too much, which is going to involve again a lot of time and how we give ourselves sufficient time to find out what we are weak in. And that's how we do one day, one week and one month revision. We have to spend more time in what we are weak and less time in what we are strong. That is how we hammer the part which is weak and make it strong. Longer. We understood the difference between the core memory and surface memory and we understood that while learning we have to connect the core memory with the surface memory. We also understood the importance of comprehensive notes and what are short notes. Short notes are really again to work on your weaknesses. So that's about it guys. All the principles of revision can be applied anywhere. A lot of you guys are preparing for examinations, competitive examinations where the syllabus is huge and you will have to execute on a single day. This is how you revise properly. Please understand this important pillar of learning anything. If you do this right, you are going to save hours, days and sometimes years of your time. Because if you don't do this, then the time invested during learning is a waste. And if you do not do proper revision, then the time invested even in revision, at least some fraction of it will be wasted and time is the most valuable resource that we have got guys so use it wisely i'm going to end this video over here do let me know if you require more guidance there are certain kind of videos that i do want to make in future for example some of you guys in college want to understand how to perfectly attempt semester examination where this video is not going to help you out so let me know if you need some guidance in that domain as well or any other topic of suggestions are most welcome in the comment section i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye